today it's all about the new multimedia system from Audi MMI that you will find it on the new Audi e-tron all the electric version of the cars that come on the market also on the new Audi A3 and uh, Q8 RS Q8 and all that uh, new cars that come from Audi and in this video we will talk about the cockpit the new digital cockpit and also we will talk about the multimedia system and the old functions that are here right now in the beginning I want to start a little bit with the navigation system I put it in the daytime and I want to show you the flickering from the video uh, don't worry it's not from the car it's from the camera so usually you will not be able to see it uh, and I want to show you now you are in daytime and in daytime uh, because you can see it a little bit better um, you can see that the, the screen is glossy, it's very responsive, you don't have any lag at all uh, and it's working like a charm, the, the, the navigation system from the new Audi uh, and this MMI multimedia system, it's, it's one of the best on the market for example, uh, let me show you something for example if you want to set a destination right here let me say I want to go here uh, put your finger here, also you can use voice command or all kind of stuff and then you just press navigate uh, there, so right the here. The route is being calculated. Yes, it's a little bit louder, but you can see it's calculated really fast. It has a great, great processor and uh, memory behind this multimedia system. Uh, so uh, the fact that you have to know is that it works really fast and really good. Uh, also, if you go to settings right here, I will go back and I will change this map setting. And I will change this to automatic and then it will go automatic in night time. So you can see right now how it looks in night time. It looks like this, much better uh, for the light. So anyway, first of all I will start with uh, the down part here where you have another screen. This screen it's used only for the climatic system and for a few uh, options. For example, heated seat and this here, it's downhill assist, you will find it right here. It will give you a haptic feedback every time you press those buttons, put the hand on the screen, it will give you a little vibration. So you will feel like you really push it. Uh, then you have the radio and then uh, you can see from here and also home address and stuff like that you can add it here like a shortcuts you know for the for the navigation system but overall all you have to change all you can change is the climatic system and different uh, information about the climatic system for example heat it seat and stuff like that if you press this button in the middle you will see also right here uh, you can synchronize and you have uh, different uh, information right here on this uh, screen but overall this screen from down there it's used for the climatic system and it's very nice it looks great it looks fancy it's modern and nice and uh, to be honest I like it very much now of course I think this car come also with 360 degrees cameras doesn't have nothing to do with uh, the 3D camera you can see it right here as well uh, also this MMI uh, multimedia system from Audi support also uh, this kind of stuff so it's quite quite impressive and amazing uh, now uh, I don't want to go too much into detail uh, with with this camera because not all the cars that that come with MMI come with the same cameras and stuff like that but this one this Audi e-tron sportback the new one uh, have it and you can see it and that way I want to show you but overall this was the first screen mainly used for the climatic system uh, it looks nice also you have a great visibility from the driver point of view everything is tilted to the driver and you have a great visibility also you can control it very very easy it's very responsive this system so that's why I like it very much now if I go a little bit upper now let's talk a little bit about this screen you have a big screen here I think it's around 10 inch display great great responsiveness as I said before and then you have somehow uh, a few shortcut buttons here on the side so you have the home button you have the radio then you have the media and it gives you this uh, haptic feedback every time you put your finger there then you have the media here where you can connect your phone your device USB sources uh, and the car comes also with USB so you can put it there if you want to hear music or if you want to hear something from the USB then you can connect your mobile phone through Bluetooth and then you have here also you can connect Android Auto or Apple CarPlay 
through the cable so you will see i will make another video so subscribe to the channel if you want to see the video with android auto demonstration how to install it on this uh, car but i think you don't need it because the navigation system is fabulous so uh, i don't think you will need that now the main screen press the home once and then it will get you to the menu this is the main menu that you will see on the most um, most new and most expensive most premium uh, cars from Audi that will come with this uh, new MMI navigation system and here you have all the settings all the settings uh, of the car first of all it's radio I show you already phone apps here it will tell you that you can connect the uh, Apple CarPlay without the cable through wireless but the Android Auto you have to connect it uh, with the cable so yeah I will show you that in another video. Other than that, Bluetooth, go to connectivity device and stuff like that. So you can connect your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with, with your car. Uh, then going forward, you have here the media, the telephone, you can connect your telephone, the navigation that you already see it before. Um, that it's one of the best on the market it's really updated all the maps and and stuff then you have the car where you find most of the information about the car what car what options have the car for example this audi etron has also this suspension for example air suspension so you can set it up and down from here rise it up uh, pull it down depend how you want it it's it's pretty great system now then here you have also these different driving modes all road efficient mode comfort mode auto and dynamic depending which mode you are the car will the car will react and give you the best feeling best settings for example the acceleration and all that stuff right there now uh, let me go back then going to the car details on the car details you have information for example this is the, the e-tron that it's electric fully it will give you all the information how much range you have and all kind of stuff um, then going back you have the charging and efficiency only on electric car you can see this the, those options um, I will make another video of course with the car so you can see uh, the electric version but now we are not uh, about the electric version easy entrance for driver's seat so you can set up the seat then you have the AC from here as I show you before you can also set up turn off turn on the AC of the car then you have the lights and vision from here you can turn on turn off background light exterior light uh, and also the interior light the car this e tron come with amazing um, uh, ambient light now the parking aid here also you have kind of information about the parking sensors uh, how to activate lower how to be the sound and some kind of information the driver assistance systems here uh, you can turn it on individualize uh, maximum basis for example the driving assistance system if you go here you can see the distance warning Audi presence side assist blind spot technology uh, intersection assist emergency assist exit warning system and uh, rest recommendation so all kind of safety features for the driver you can set it up and choice from here and then the other page service and center you can see all kind of information steering wheel buttons hold assist uh, air suspension trailer air suspension wheel change center locking car inflation and all that service buttons that usually the service will use those uh, and you don't have to worry about them uh, most of the time now then going back to home uh, that I show you the car favorite you can put your favorite uh, the settings here are most of the settings of the car the general here on the general you can change the date and time uh, measure units pressure temperature speed uh, reminder signals and mobile phone for example speech dialogue system version information legal information and all kind of stuff uh, but here it's quite interesting you can change the miles kilometers uh, Fahrenheit's uh, temperature and yeah whatever you want to see you can change it from the general settings display and brightness from here you can change the display and brightness of the cockpit and not only on the cockpit but also on the head-up display by the way there is the head-up display one of the best on the market directly on the windshield you can see it right there also you can see the navigation there and all kind of information and from here you can uh, turn it on and off uh, right here the brightness how bright to be for example if you if it's sunny day you can make it brighter if it's not you can 
uh, make it um, darker and let me go back then I would Audi virtual cockpit from here you can change different uh, information on what you would like to see in the cockpit we will go there in a second uh, you can also configure it from here classic sport and e-tron how you like to see then you have the MMI uh, here the the brightness of course you can make it brighter this screen depend how you like it touch screen feedback how you like to give you the feedback and put it in clean mode operation and rear here disable rear climatic control and child lock and yeah those are information about the display language here you can change the language and keyboard and language uh, of the screen sound here all the information about the sound from here you can change it treble bass subwoofer uh, 3d sound all kind of stuff you have amazing sound by the way in this car system maintenance here you can see the software updates automatic online map updates when you connect to the internet connection settings connection device here that you see it before uh, on the settings you have Wi-Fi Bluetooth data as there entertainment here you have all the information from the entertainment um, then you have the navigation information here settings actually you can set up different things right here and then you have the contacts message privacy notification um, you have so many so many settings guys in this car it's, it's incredible uh, on the settings there then you have the help you have user you can install your username on the car to to save different uh, options and and uh, things then you have the weather news legal and this is the last page so you can see even the weather when the car is connected to the internet so uh, and even the news you can read the news by the way so yeah that's that's quite quite interesting uh, to be able to see in the car anyway you can see it if you connect your phone to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay you can also see those things so overall this is kind of all uh, the multimedia system here you find all the information about the car I'm not sure if I miss something uh, maybe just this screen right here that you can also customize this is the kind of a home screen where you see the navigation the phone and the media right here but it's a great system I love it to be honest also up here you have some kind of shortcuts to music and to the settings of the car that will get you directly to the settings but overall it's a great system great great multimedia system one of the best on the market and it looks also gorgeous let's go to the cockpit on the cockpit all you have to do from here from the steering wheel they keep the same shape as the years preview the only thing is different is the glossy plastic right here but the same controllers and trust me they did a great job because you don't need to change something that it's work already perfect from here you can change the screen you can see different information on the screen right there for example right here you have also the driver assist the consumption uh, the trips, information about the car, the range because it's an electric version and also up there you can change what you like to see in the middle telephone, notes, the map, you can see the map in the middle small or big, depend how you like you can have the map right there in the middle of your screen or you can have the consumption in the middle of your screen it's the same same digital cockpit that you find it on most of the new Audis that come with the digital cockpit it's work fine, great resolution, great colors, um, nice that you can customize in different ways. Uh, I like it very much. So overall, that was the video. Uh, if you have questions, just ask me anything you want, guys. Uh, I think I cover almost everything here. I will make another video with how to connect uh, Android Auto. Uh, if you want to see how to do that, um, subscribe to my channel to see the video when it will come on the market. Uh, and guys, just uh, don't forget to subscribe like share thank you for watching i hope it was helpful and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys